Hey everyone, uh, Tom here and Al from the Game Changers. What's going on? We're, <laughs> we're, we're going to talk about uh, the Dragon Ball Super episode 121. Uh, it's the day before Christmas Eve, yeah. and uh, we just finished watching it. It is uh, with an English sub. It's Japanese, of course. Yeah. But it's, uh, it's an interesting episode for sure. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Um, but yeah, since we're talking about Dragon Ball Z, we, um, have been watching, uh, a whole lot of Dragon Ball Z Abridged, and I think we're gonna put together a YouTube video of, um, top yeah. ten favorite quotes. favorite quotes and things like that, because <laughs> there's some really great ones, yeah. and <laughs> that, rid that ridiculous voice I was doing is, like, my impression of... The Their self. impression of <laughs> imperfect cell. It's a cover of a cover. Yeah, it's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's what, so what, good. What was but, the uh, what was his like that line that we like died from? I don't know. What? Oh, that is hardcore. <laughs> he like what, what happened? Um oh, uh, Piccolo like regenerates an arm. Yeah, he like rips off his like dead looking arm that cell sucked out of him. And <laughs> yeah. he just like do you want to see something cool? Yeah. You're like, oh my gosh. Yeah, anyways. If, so, you, if you don't watch Dragon Balls, I mean, I looked back at when the date was that some of those were posted, so I think we were, like, years behind on that. Yeah, so I think but, everyone apparently knows about that, and we we came in pretty late to the game. But still a it's really so excellent, funny. excellent series, and... Super worth watching yeah. if you're at all a fan of the Dragon Ball series. Yeah, I mean you you have to have like grown up with Dragon Ball Z and and to really appreciate. It, I think like I, I don't know that it would be. Do you think it would be funny I don't to know. someone who like because I showed it to some of my friends that like know of Dragon Ball Z but like don't really watch it or didn't really watch it and they're just like oh that's funny. I'm like. Oh. Do you ever do that where you're like you think something's hilarious and then you show them and then you're just like that was not the Return reaction for <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah that happens I hate that um uh, but uh back on track we totally got sidetracked with that but um so Dragon Ball Super episode 121 the uh, uh basis of the episode is the the uh, Z Fighting Power Rangers. Oh my no, gosh! Yeah, there's a lot of Power Ranger esque things going on. Like we already got a combination. If you watch Dragon Ball Super, a combination of the uh, um, what is it called? Those like Android Universe uh, characters, and in this one, Doctor Paparoni um, joins the other three, who nearly avoided getting kicked off. Uh, the fighting stage mm -hmm. in the Tournament of Power and became a character known as Aniraza, which I think is a pretty badass name. Uh, but, uh, so, everybody left in the uh, Universe 7, which is the universe that we all know of, uh, all the characters that we've known from the beginning of Dragon Ball. Uh, it's uh, Goku, Gohan, Vegeta. Um, we've got uh, 17 and 18 and, and uh, did I say Frieza already? Yeah, and then Frieza. Uh, so they have to take this thing down, and it's a big deal. And spoilers, we lose Android 18. Uh, Ami Raza tries to eat him. Eat her, sorry. And then... Uh, yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, I, I don't know what, what they were going with on that. Um, the... Uh, um, we said something interesting, but I missed it in in the sub, what he actually said, but uh, he justified why eating him, eating her would be okay, because you're not allowed to kill anybody, but, uh, so that was something, uh, but, um, weird. Tom, what did you think of that, like, I liked the, all, all five of them, you know, six to start, six, I guess, to start. Mm -hmm. uh, powering up, and um, it was weird when they were f just fighting it, and they we were like, why are they even trying, you know, one person has to get, like, their butt kicked to for them to figure out, oh, we should probably power up. Right, and that's pretty, 
that's pretty common. common. That's like a uh, a staple of the Dragon Ball series. Yeah. And it's almost too predictable. Yeah. Uh, somebody fights. They they're overconfident about it, and they're at like their lower level, and then they realize, oh, I got to power up. Um, and classic on this in this episode is Vegeta does that. He's just Super Saiyan one, uh, and he uses a big bang attack on Ani Raza, and he, Ani Raza just deflects it like it's nothing, and he's like, oh, like just like in every other, yeah. Um, but um, but why? So something that obviously is another um, Dragon Ball Z trope uh, is inconsistent power levels, and that's something especially in the Super. That has bugged me is because, so, in the beginning, you remember that Goku uh, becoming, you know, Super Saiyan Blue is kind of going toe-to-toe with um, Beerus, Mm -hmm. and he's a destroyer. Right. So are you telling me that some of these other characters, like the fusion between um, Kalifla and Kale? Yeah, is as powerful as a destroyer? Like... It just, it frustrates me when, like, he powers up to, like, for that, he should have just gone, like, Super Saiyan 2 or 3 and would probably have been enough. It, it's frustrating when you see, like, oh, he has to go, like, Super Saiyan God Blue or whatever. Yeah. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, to take on these two characters who were, like, barely Super Saiyan 2. Mm-hmm. And... There's a lot of arguments to be had in that yeah. regard, like... Uh, in this episode, in episode 121, Goku goes the red, the Super Saiyan God form, and has a hard time. Like, everybody gets hit back, uh, and it's baffling. Yeah, so, like, this big creature, like, it's big, but, like, is it as powerful as, like, Goku, Super Saiyan God? Or, or or Beerus or like I mean there's Argyria, five characters know. in it so that's something but and even like Frieza is like I yeah. mean Frieza didn't like stand much of a chance to Goku when he was like Super Saiyan like blue but like they fought no he, he actually did um, in Resurrection of F yeah and the uh, um, what is it called the that arc that's in Super, um, if Frieza wasn't terrible with his golden form, he uh, he was actually kicking Goku's butt. He was beating the crap out of him. I'll have to go watch that, because I remember um, once he did that, like, oh, he was getting no, framed. Yeah, I don't well, know. Maybe. But, but anyways, like, so, so Goku and Vegeta and Frieza can't beat this thing. And Android 17 and 18. Seriously. Who have shown that they're way stronger than the Cell um, Saga. They can't beat this thing. It's yeah. baffling. Like, but in in defense of that, so it's worth having both sides, uh, we said that they are like the second weakest universe, but it seems to be bullcrap because we've watched this tournament all the way through and... Uh, there's no real, like, proof that the Universe 7 is any weaker than any of the others. In fact, they look like they're way more powerful. But, if you want to argue maybe that they are Wait, we weaker. said that they're the we second said, weakest? Yeah. What? Yeah, that's what we watch said. that. That makes no sense. Yeah. That's a dumb. while back. Um, but, uh, Frieza had an interesting line in this episode, and, uh, he he thinks that Ani Raza is going after him because he's the weakest. Oh yeah, or he's weaker than others. Yeah, um, I thought that was weird that he said that. Like yeah, it seemed out of place, you... and like he's just doubting himself. Like what? Like, yeah, yeah. I just didn't. I didn't get why he said that. Right. There was no lead up to it, and there's no good context to yeah, fill in. It, it just, just looked like he was going after him because he was going after him. And right. Then, so. so I don't know, that was weird. Uh, but something really fun happened in this episode. Um, Goku almost gets kicked off. Uh, you know, 
time and I gasped a little bit, but you gotta know that it's not actually gonna happen. But kick mm-hmm. uh Frieza came in and kicked him back into the stage and then saved himself as well mm-hmm. and uh apologized for kicking him and Goku told Which him Why did he apologize for I don't it? know. We we're getting a weird Frieza in this. Yeah. Uh, I'm still interested to see how he develops in this final part of the tournament. But um, Goku said, and like totally ripped into Frieza in this uh, statement, he just said, uh, kicks like that don't even tickle. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Which so I was like, like ha, <laughs> bogus. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was pretty savage. Yeah. So something else that like kind of pisses me off um and don't get me wrong, I like this series a lot. Uh, but um, they're falling off. Like, so 17 or 18, we're both falling off. They can fly. No, so, they're not allowed to fly. What do you mean? They're not allowed to fly. It's in the basic rules of this tournament. Really? No one's allowed to fly unless they have the wings. Oh, right, right. But don't they fly, like, on the stage? No, they're, like, fast jumping. I don't know. Poor jumping. Okay. I'm going to have to study that more because I don't know if they're adhering to that very strictly. Mm. And I'm kind of like, uh, all right. I mean, if you're going to do that, then don't, you know, then do that. But uh-huh. so that makes sense. But like, there's all the bricks and like, oh, you yeah. know, all the pieces falling. You could go like, ching, 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 ching. You know? Jump back on. Yeah. yeah. I just, so it looked like he was like, him, like, 18 and Goku were just like, Oh no, I'm falling. Like, I don't know how to, like, jump on rocks and stuff, because uh-huh. that never happens in the show. Yeah. Like, I I just think it's funny when, like, obvious things that you could just do to say, like, within the r- parameters of things we've already seen just don't happen because of the story. That is not funny. To. Yeah. And it's like... But uh, 18 comes in and saves 17... Yeah, that was actually really awesome. Yeah, I was like, oh man, that's cool. So she comes she, behind and, him and and kicks she's like, the what are you doing? Something sappy. Did you catch that? No, is that what she said? Yeah, she's oh. she's like, I'm I'm doing something sappy. That's cool. You know, I'm like, oh so, my brother, I love you. Uh, she saves him, and uh, she sees the potential of his strength, and then uh, um, he really saves the day by defeating, helping defeat uh, Aniraza. And uh, the Geekdom 101 uh, uh, page on YouTube that we we catch up on pretty often uh, called it on this that Aniraza wasn't going to make it out of this episode. And he totally doesn't. Mm-hmm. He lasts just one episode. Uh, I don't know how they could have continued it. If they wanted to, I'm sure they could find a reason. But... He's such a big threat that he, he threatens to almost destroy the entire stage. So, like, I, I don't know. if Maybe they'd, like, show it as if they're really struggling to even hit him, and they'd drag that out into a couple episodes. But I think they did its purpose. He's mm-hmm. a massive threat. Uh, he almost antagonizes uh, Universe Jiren. 11, I think that's the right. Jiren-led universe yeah. into joining the battle and they get you know pummeled with a bunch of energy blasts but they dodge them um but uh yeah so they had to get rid of them quickly or things are gonna get ugly yeah and i'm i'd be curious to see like you know freeze's favorite thing to do is to get the you know planet destroying ball of death yeah and you know i'd like to see him do that against like Jiren and his crew. Uh huh. I love the Japanese voice actor for C- uh, Frieza. Yeah. It's and good. you get a lot of like his screams in this one. Mm-hmm. It's pretty great. Yeah, it's pretty. So good. It's just it's satisfying. Yeah. And I really hope we get more Frieza in the next couple episodes. But it looks like the next episode will be um, everyone kind of versus Jiren and Dispo and um, Topo. So. Yeah. I, I thought that little standoff that they have at the end was pretty satisfying. Mm-hmm. You so, know, you know, it's obviously only the, the two universes now. Right. So we, we the uh, uh, universe that uh, Aniraza is from and all those robots are from gets erased, and uh, now Squish. now yeah, and 
now it is just universe 11 I, I hope I'm getting that right and universe 7 mm -hmm. and uh, the internet's yeah. probably going to flay you alive yeah. if you get that wrong <laughs> I'm just kidding um, yeah no that's so, so cool stuff um, uh, yeah I'm looking forward to that but sadly we don't get an episode next week it's going to be uh, two weeks from now yeah better be like an hour next week it's or in two weeks I don't think so, so. Oh, but, and something that's really dumb, and that I'm sure is just an obvious thing, is, like, these episodes are, what, like, 30, like, 20 minutes or something? Yeah. And... It's, like, 23-ish. But then, like, the time left does not reflect oh, that. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's so dumb. So, Geek and One One talked about this. It's, like, um, they're fighting so fast... Yeah. ...that <laughs> five minutes goes by in that amount of time. It, it's... I don't... Or, like, it's... So, they would have to be, like, talking fast and going, oh, and, oh, and, you know, <laughs> and powering up and fighting and yeah. killing and... Uh, I don't know. It, I feel like that's... At the end of the day, it's bad still... bad writing. A, I mean, I like it. Yeah. But in, that's just bad writing. In reality, why didn't they just call it what it is? Yeah. Like... Like, 24. No, 24 is the opposite. Uh, that what? TV show, 24, you know... They did that too. Yeah, it was well, unreasonable amount of things happen in one one supposed hour, oh, which is nonsense. Gotcha. Um, but so uh, that's way more accurate than this. This is like, I guess all kinds yeah. of craziness happening in like five minutes. Uh huh. And it's it's ridiculous. So like, yeah, mm -hmm. it's weird. It is. But, uh, but yeah. yeah. So. so. Oh, we, didn't, we don't know how much time is left officially. They oh, yeah, they didn't say, they didn't that. say that this time. But um, it's what not would much. happen if they if the time ran out? Who knows? I guess the I think they probably said it like the universe with the most fighters. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I guess that is. I think that's the yeah. case. But um, we're not an encyclopedia. This is just you know big fans talking. Yeah. Um, Do you think that after all of this? Zeno Sama is just going to like undo that, and well, like I I have a th I've been thinking about I'm how they're gonna. Curious if they're like really gonna do that because I really want to see Vegeta go to what's his face's. Oh, uh, what's uh, no, it's not Kefla. It's it's the uh, saying that he was kind of protegeing. What is his name? Bro, it's gonna bug me. It'll come to you. Okay. I forget. But anyways, I want to see him go to that planet and, like, feel all the feels. Yeah, you that'd, know, be, that'd be awesome to and see. And meet this person that he's supposed to, that, you know, his protege is really looking up to. And he's like, perhaps I will come and meet this person. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about on that one. Huh? Oh, about when they the... fought. Like, he, he was talking about, like, a mighty warrior that, like, he respected... And, you know, like the king or something? He, yeah, he's talking about the king. Oh. Yeah, so he wanted to... Vegeta wanted to meet him. Oh, right. Yeah. And, yeah, so... Um, another thing is we noticed how the Japanese um, is... Like, even if it's just, like, subtitles, like, the subtitles are way better than some of the writing in the English dub. Yeah. We, yeah, we were, we were laughing at some of... Because... We were, as the English ones come out, we were like, we'll sometimes go back and watch them. And I'm like, that seemed way dumber than the Japanese one. <laughs> Not that we speak Japanese, um, but like just reading it. We're like, oh, that's... When when he meets, like, Zeno for the first time, doesn't he, like, say something like... Man, what does he say? I forget, but it's, it's painful. Um... Oh, he says, so, like, dude at one point. Yeah, I know. Goku and like, says dude, and then, uh, man, some of it is just so washy. Yeah. It feels like, it just feels lazy. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like we crept all over, like, Dragon Ball Super in this man, so far. We but, have, like, we really like it. I mean, we're, you know, right? We, like, are stoked to uh, tune in, I, This has I been a negative podcast for sure yeah but in in all reality we love this show and uh something we've been playing immensely is uh 
Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 on Switch, and mm-hmm. we love it. Uh, we love the Dragon Ball Universe and all the characters in it. Mm-hmm. Um, our, our, uh, There's some ups and downs of this Dragon Ball Super series, mm-hmm. uh, particularly for me. Is, uh, I really like how they're starting to develop Vegeta. Uh, there's, he's had some really good moments in this series. Mm-hmm. But I, uh, I, as much as I liked that, I equally hated Ribrienne and their entire universe. Oh my gosh, And how Seriously. constantly they have to say love. Yeah. And... Um, I wanted, I like seriously was so. I mean, it's there's probably some positives to pull from, like to show the diversity. But it made me so mad when like the last three like um, guys got their powers and oh God. they had like a dress on, and I was like, this is so freaking stupid. That? I was like, I do not want to watch this show anymore. It made me so mad. Yeah, that's almost like, on par with the, in garbage. GT with uh, the Para Para brothers. Seriously, yeah. Where they're in like oh my gosh jumpsuits. I wanted or to, whatever. Oh, oh Para Para. Yeah. yeah, I seriously wanted God. to be like those those uh, characters. I wanted to drown. Who are very like <laughs> just kidding masculine looking in dresses. Um, it felt like a, a different TV show. Yeah. And it hurt me on the inside as a fan of the show. And not, not for any reasons that are other than uh, it felt out of place. Yeah. Not what, for any you, hidden why reasons. Why do you get clothes when you get a power? <laughs> or transform. Yeah. So dumb. So dumb. Well, it, it's... I don't, I don't know. I could rabbit trail into, like, how things, like, transform and get new clothes. Or, like, is Frieza's armor that... He has in the his first form. I don't know. It's just dumb. Some some things are just like oh yeah, that's a good point. Because like I mean, that it's is not funny. Arm, is that his armor or know. is that part of his body? Because like <laughs> I've never thought about that everyone one. else has similar armor. So it freezes first form. But like, form like we you're know, about. yeah, we know that like oh, everyone else has like similar armor. armor in like because of Frieza. That's his army. Yeah, but like. Is Frieza wearing armor? I'm gonna look this up. Cause that's like, hilarious. Right? I never thought about that. I I just anybody kinda... that is here, look up what Frieza looks like in his first form, and you'll know what we're talking about. Cause he he looks like he's wearing armor, and it is similar to all the armor that the Saiyans wear. So yeah, so it looks like he's wearing clothes and yeah, armor. So it does like, look like is he's that wearing his armor. Body. I mean, like. That's a good Maybe point. because the other species of Frieza that we've seen kind of have that similar body, whatever. So, so did they it's just replicate be, that as armor. It's gotta, yeah. Is that his body? That's probably what they did. Was they replicated it as armor? Okay. But like, is that like an exoskeleton? Like, because you can see that he's got kind of you know shoulder oh, bones and yeah, skin. Yeah, zoom in there. So we're looking at a picture of Frieza and. You can see his face, like it's almost like he has a helmet on, uh-huh. but like that must be part of his body. And then like he's got o- obvious um, separations where this like armor his comes. Purple on. skin is, and then, and then the you arm, got you got the like the sleeves with the lines in it, and then like um, I would argue that that's part of his body is the red. Yeah, because um, that's his tail and. And whatever, but yeah. like maybe I'll put a picture of this on as part of the part of the thumbnail, podcast. yeah, or whatever. Um, yeah, I mean, because it has a, to be because then there's a the, funny question. Because there's then King Cold, and he looks King just Cold like, looks the same. He's got the same looking thing. Yeah. Oh, there's a good example when uh, Trunks murders him. Yeah. So it, is that proof enough, Tom? Uh, what do you think? So when Trunks blasts through his chest. Yeah. It looks totally like he just broke armor. But then it could be like some kind of exoskeleton. That's like yeah, he's that's, like a bug or something. That's difficult. Yeah. So that is a fun question. In the comments, please give us your insight on this or thoughts yeah. on it. Because that's a fun question. It really is. And is Frieza's this... first armor and King Cold, are they, does it look like they're wearing armor? Or do you think that is part of their body? 
Yeah. Um, it's got, do mean, we, do, what does Cooler I, look like in his first form? He oh, doesn't yeah. look like that. Well, he's got some other, like, thing going on. Yeah. And then, yeah. Weird. weird. It was but, weird. yeah, Cooler looks like he's for sure wearing armor, but it changes. Yeah. So, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> but, um... I'd love if, to hear yeah. what everybody in the comments thinks about this. Yeah. Anyone who watches this. If you're listening to this on iTunes, if we get it up there... And you should give us five stars and then say what you think about it. Mm-hmm. And That'd be the really five nice. stars really helps us out kind of on the business end. Um, you believe, believe it or not, um, iTunes is just weird like that. Uh, it'll really boost us up to better numbers. You know, even if you think this is garbage, uh, you should totally give us five stars because it'll really, really help us and we really appreciate it. Mm-hmm. And that's it. So... Uh, what else we got? I think we've gone on long enough for I think so. Dragon Ball. Right. A while. Um, so episode 121, what did you think of it? Uh, how do you feel about Dragon Ball Super in general? And uh, please answer that question for us. That's a big one with the, the Frieza information. But um, I hope you catch up on our next podcast episode of Brush Up. Uh we kind of talk about the wonderful things that is on our mind, and we, uh, uh, if you want to hear something specific for us to talk about, um, let us know in the comments. And my name is Alex. And I'm Tom. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks so much. Yeah. Well, do we want to do like 20 minutes, or do we want to do like an hour?